so here on August 30th was the release of the last um, major was Nuka Cola World. The last what they're telling us is the last DLC for Fallout 4. Um, so I've played it. I've played them all. I've played through. <coughs> Sorry. I've played through the uh, to auto. It's like automaton. Yeah, I can't ever pronounce it. Um, where you'd have to deal with a mechanist. I've done Far Harbor. I've gone to Vault, you know, eighty-eight, and now Nuka Cola World is here. All in all, this game has delivered in a way I know Bethesda always does. Um, obviously, I play the Xbox One, so right now, as of right now, I have mods that I can play with as well, which is really fun. And, like, the main story of the game was great. It gave you these little twists and turns. It gave your character a reason to go on through this wasteland. And then you have the end of the game. And then, there were, and then they added more stuff for after the game was done. But there's so much to do, even with the main game, with side missions. Uh, all of the factions with... The Brotherhood of Steel, Railroad, Minutemen, Institute. With all of these people, you have so many more missions. It was almost like the game couldn't end anyway. Um, then they introduced, I think the uh, Automatron? The Automatron came first. And that was just a short little story mission where you can... Uh, you fight this person called the Mechanist. They're yeah, who created these robots, and they're all over the Commonwealth. If you keep doing all this, and at the end of that, you actually have the ability to make your own uh, Assaultrons, security. Um, like you can make your own robots and you make them into whatever you want, and it was just really great. Then soon after that came Far Harbor, which is one of the bigger DLCs. It had its own full story. You had other factions you could have. More new monsters, new weapons. Um, this whole story was... The whole story behind Far Harbor... I think came out really well. There's, there's one mission in it that a lot of people have had controversy over because it's the one mission that isn't like anything else. And towards the end, it gets kind of difficult. It took me about 45 minutes to finish. Um, and then soon you got um, Vault 88. Vault 88 is a vault is unfinished. You can actually take control of this vault and do with it what you want. You can experiment on people and make this vault however you want it to be. Which was I thought was really nice. You can, just, uh, so you can give settlers vault suits. Yeah, you know, um, I think it was very innovative. Obviously, you could be evil like Vault Tech and experiment and do social experiments on these people for um, shits and giggles. I think, and then uh, after that, the blast is New Cola World. Which is a lot like Far Harbor in that it's the second, it's the second big add-on that has its own story, your own missions, different factions to do, and stuff like that. And 
to give you a little basic, a uh, little thing on it, uh, without giving too much away, is basically you go to Nuka Cola World, and you start off just going through something called the Gauntlet, and you defeat this, the what they call the Overboss, in uh, for all over all of the Radio Gangs that inhabit Nuka Cola, Nuka World. And once you do that, you now lead all of the Raider Gangs, and you can do with it what you want. I just, like, this game has delivered so much for how long it's been out and everything else. There's also been, you know, tiny little DLCs for, like, workshop stuff. Um... But with DLC, with mods, with all of this stuff, um, I think it's been really great. Just, it's been a really great game. It's one that I could definitely play over and over and not get tired of. You have all of these companions. My favorite being dog meat. It's the one. It's the one companion you can't piss off. Uh, it's this game just seems to have everything you want in a really big adventure. It gives you twists. You don't. It gave me a major twist that I didn't even see coming. I didn't even quite fully understand at when I made it, but it's there. Did you see the uh, commercials for the Nuka-Cola? The one where it's like mm-hmm. a 1950s violent cartoon? I love that. That made me chuckle so hard. Oh, yeah. They've and, done, and a lot of things that I like is that uh, if you go to if you have it, you go to Nuka-Cola, where there's actually arcade games you can play. Oh, is there really? Mm-hmm. It's really fun. Bethesda's always done an amazing job with their DLC, going all the way back to Elder Scrolls 3. And they they never fall short of doing something good with it. You definitely always get your money's worth, to say the least. And I can't wait. Like, Nuka-Cola, out of all of them, had me the most anticipated to play. I've just been a cheap bastard and waited to get all the DLC so far. Then I've been having a lot of fun with the mods. The mods have been keeping me real busy anyways. Yeah. So I can't wait to check this out. Oh yeah, I think this game, it's one I really enjoy playing. I'm sure I've tried getting Carmageddon to play it. She won't. I have t- I have told you I don't need to be addicted to anything else. Okay, right now I'm playing Sunset Overdrive, <laughs> and I'm playing, what's that other one? Dying Light. At the same time, I don't like doubling I'm, up on games. Deanne can I'm pay just- or- Monkey Paws can play, like, 50 at a time and never finish one and be content with life, and I can't yes. do that. <laughs> join the Fallout. I love the Fallout. Be one. Love the join fallout. us. And then, yeah. Uh, honestly, Fallout 4 has been one of my favorites for Bethesda games. Um I mean, they just do so well with this game. I really can't wait to see what they're going to do next. If they're making another Fallout, I really hope so. This game just has everything that I was really excited for.